welcome to our Halloween episode of California Cookie. Since this year's Halloween is going to look a little different, we thought we'd take a look back at some of the festive fun we've had over the years. We start with an ooey gooey grilled cheese with a spooky soup. Then we're throwing it back to the time we invited Levi's friends over to make some Halloween treats. And finally, I get in the kitchen with an avid baker and I'm learning how to make a really cool bat cake. First, I'm making a spooktacular meal perfect for the holiday. It's an ooey gooey grilled cheese with a spooky butternut squash carrot soup. Take a look. Halloween is my favorite holiday of the year. Christmas is a very close second, but I love Halloween. And I think it started as a kid. My mom made Halloween so special. So now I want to do the same for my kid. And I always thought it was fun when my mom would make a meal before we go trick or treating. And usually it was something very fallish and cozy. So I thought I would make something that is inspired by Halloween because it's orange and black. And I'm gonna make an orange soup and it's butternut squash and carrot that I roasted in the oven until it's soft. And I bought the butternut squash that's already chopped up so you don't have to deal with it because it's a little tricky to chop up butternut squash some carrots, roast them in the oven with some olive oil, salt and pepper until they're soft, about 40 minutes. And when they come out of the oven, they're still hot, I give it a good sprinkle of curry powder just to give it this kind of warmth when the soup is all blended together with some chicken stock. Then I'm gonna do a grilled cheese and I got some pumpernickel bread with raisin to give the orange and black. And I'm gonna show you something fun I'm gonna do with the soup when we're done. So here's my blender, my Vitamix that whatever blender you have, but this thing blends up anything. So I'm just gonna take our veggies and put them into our blender. And I smell that curry powder. Try a little curry, see how you like it. I probably did about a teaspoon, and especially if you're serving it to kids, it might not be a flavor they're used to, so try it. Now, we're gonna add our chicken stock, box chicken stock. And first, test it, see how thick you want it. Here we go, on. All right, let's taste our soup. See where we're at with texture and seasoning. I'm gonna keep it right there. So what I've done is I've got a big pot on the back of the stove, just keep it warm. I'm gonna pour it in there and just keep it on a low simmer until we're ready for dinner. Now onto our grilled cheese. For Halloween, I thought it'd be fun to do a dark bread, a pumpernickel. This one happens to have a little bit of raisin in there, which I think is gonna taste pretty good. And what I like to do, not always with my grilled cheese, but sometimes when you have cream cheese in the fridge, it helps make an extra ooey gooey grilled cheese sandwich. Because the cheese melts into the creaminess of the cream cheese, and then you've got a lot of goo, and that makes for a good grilled cheese. Now, because it's Halloween, you wanna do the orange cheese, the orange cheddar, but I also happen to have a little bit of smoked Gouda, just to, you know, make it a little fancy. There you go. All right, gonna take it back to the pan and melt our cheese. Gonna get some butter into my pan. Get our grilled cheese in. And then we just cook it over medium because we want the cheese to get nice and gooey. Our grilled cheese, I'm gonna do the slide. Okay. That looks perfect. And we just took the time to make sure the cheese melted. Gotta be patient. Okay, here's how I would plate all this up. We have our cozy carrot and butternut squash soup that has a little bit of uh, curry powder in there, just salt, pepper, olive oil, really simple. We roasted the veggies, added chicken stock. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do with the soup, and I'm scared, I'm nervous, but I'm gonna try to do a spider web with sour cream, added a little bit of half and half our milk to make it slightly thinner so it can squeeze out of this little squeeze bottle. Okay, here goes. All right, now, got your skewer. I'm 
pretty happy with my spider web. And then on top, I got some black sesame seeds, just for fun, sprinkle those on top. And our ooey gooey grilled cheese. Hear the crunch? And there is your Halloween dinner. What a fun comfort meal, perfect for the kids and adults alike. If you guys want the recipe, check us out on Instagram at KTLA California Cooking. Coming up, I'm learning how to make a pumpkin spice cake with candy bats from a pro. But first, before social distancing was a thing, Levi and I hosted a Halloween party with his classmates. We're gonna show you the coolest, ghoulish treats we made together. That's coming up next. is one of my favorite holidays and my son is just like me. Halloween is his favorite. So we're taking a look back at the memorable afternoon we had last year filled with fun, friends, and a whole lot of sugar. Take a look. Take a seat. <laughs> You guys, are we excited for Halloween? Yes. Levi. What? We're gonna make a treat. Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Do we love sweets at Halloween? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? Yes. No? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna make, these are graham crackers. You guys love graham crackers? I don't want graham crackers. <laughs> I want graham crackers. Good, I Ari. Don't want graham I'm graham glad. Graham I Lucy don't and want Ava want graham crackers. <laughs> we're gonna top it with white chocolate and then we're gonna decorate it with all this fun stuff. Does that sound good? Yeah, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get some white chocolate, it's gonna be hot, and I'm gonna pour it on this so we don't touch, and then we top it with all sorts of stuff. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah? Are we ready to go? Okay, let me pour the chocolate, you guys, and then you can have fun and decorate. You ready? I don't want to. Okay. I can just eat it. Okay, look out, it's hot, it's hot. Whoa, whoa, and let me come over here. Whoa, it's white chocolate, which I hope we have enough of. Oh, but if not, we could use orange. It looks like. What does it look like? It looks it look like concrete. So we're gonna smooth it out. Whoa, and then when I smooth it out, you guys, we're gonna decorate it with all kinds of Sprinkles. He's messing it, the concrete. I'm totally messing it up. Hey, couldn't you do it to ours? And you know what I'm gonna do to you guys? I'm gonna add some orange it's too. It's very hot. This is a little hot. These are orange melting chocolates. Look what I'm gonna do. We just need to cover all, yeah, go ahead, Levi, do it. I wanna do, do you guys wanna add some? Yeah. Do it. I wanna do it. Add some chocolate. Let's make a mess. I wanna do Your moms it. will be glad I said make a mess here instead of at home. Okay, look. Wow, you guys are gonna do an orange finger. one. It went on my finger. Did it, Ari? Okay, as soon as we decorate it and stick it in the fridge, we can eat it. All right, more. Oh wait, is Levi licking the spoon, you guys? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Does he do this silly stuff when he's in class with you guys? No. 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 Okay, you guys start decorating. Look, I've got eyeballs, we've got sprinkles. Whoa, Ari did the full dump. All right. Yes. Are you guys eating the sprinkles? Okay. It's a mess, but you get my drip. Look at Levi. Oh my gosh. You're gonna have a bellyache before we even get to the party. Okay, everyone spread it out. Spread it out. Now we're gonna put them in the fridge and we're gonna let them get hard and then we're gonna break it up and you can eat it. Okay, who wants to make a spooky Dracula mouse cookie? Me! Yay! Me. Who likes sugar cookies? Me! Okay, we're doing good so far. So, let me show you guys how to do these scary mouths. So you take a sugar cookie and you cut it in half, okay? We do our red like icing, look at that. Can you guys handle this? I want to do it. Yeah. So watch it. Let me show you what we do. So then we, these are like teeth. These are little teeth. 
Yeah, you yeah. want to have a tooth? <laughs> it's not a real tooth. Of course, to Levi. Of course, Levi will eat it. Can I eat it now? Yes, as soon as I show you guys. Okay, now watch. Does it look like a mouth? Yeah. Does it? Yeah. Okay. And you put a little drop here, like a little blood. Ah, this is kind of a spooky one. You put a little tooth. Like a, is it, is look, it's like a fang! Here we go. Everybody take their cookies. And I'll give you each a half. And you try to do what I just did, if you can. If not, then just have fun. Are we going to eat it after we do the icing? Yeah, you can eat it. Is it real blood? No, it's just pretend. What's the scariest thing at Halloween? Skeletons. Vampires. Zombies. I did it. Oh, it's falling. You did good, Ari. Ari, nice job. Do you want to take a bite? Look at mine. Okay, ready? Look at mine. Look at mine. Mm. Does it taste good? Look at mine. Good job, honey. Look at mine. Look at mine. Well, at least Levi's not eating all the all the frosting. You guys are such good helpers. Look at this one. It's perfect. Let me show. Look. Now we're going to go into the room where the party, we have all these balloons and fun stuff. You want to go see? Honestly, this guy licking all the icing out of that is kind of crazy. Do you want a hug? No. Cookie. Yes. Okay, yes. Cookie. <laughs> Dessert time. Dessert time. Look at the Halloween bark you all made. It is the prettiest dessert I've ever seen. You made this. Will you take one, Dean? You want one? Pick I want one. I want one. And you guys made this. There you go. Here you go. Look at all those sprinkles. Pick a good one. Look at how pretty these are with all those sprinkles you put on there. Did you get a piece that you decorated? You got all the eyeballs. What do we love about Halloween? My favorite part is everything. Is everything? Is this a fun Halloween party? Yeah. Yes, everybody. Should we do it again next year? Yes, everybody. Yes, everybody. Yes, everybody. Yes, everybody. Yes, everybody. Yes, everybody. Yes. At the same time, everybody make their scariest Halloween noise. Levi's a zombie. <laughs> Happy Halloween! Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. So many great memories. We're going to have to do that again next year. Coming up, I'm learning how to bake a bat cake that looks amazing and tastes even better. That's coming up next. Preppy Kitchen, John Cannell, used to be a middle school teacher, then turned influencer. Now he has a food blog with over a million followers. So he taught me how to make the coolest bat cake for Halloween. Take a look. Everybody meet Preppy Kitchen. Well, John Cannell. Hi, John. Thank you for coming over. I'm so happy to be here. I, I have love, a spooky time today. I love Halloween. I can't even tell you how much it's my holiday. I think fall is when you just start wanting to get cozy, even though it's hot in LA and right. a lot of times. But Rank that AC up. Yeah. Turn the fireplace on. Absolutely. And you just start thinking about, like, you know, childhood stuff. That's what it does for me. Right, and now that I have the kids, I have twins, they're 15 months old. Oh. So now everything, all the holidays are like coming to life yeah. in a way that like had kind of faded away as I've gotten old. It's true. I mean, even though they're 16 months old, you're gonna show them what Halloween's all about this year. They're right. gonna know. Your story's great because Preppy Kitchen, you're kind of, a, you're wearing your J. Crew plaid. Yes, how did you know? <laughs> um, but why, how did you come up with the idea for Preppy Kitchen? Well, for the name, aside from like, you know, I used to sport like the, the bow ties, did you really? the, sh the works. But so many people get really frustrated when they bake. Yeah. And it's because they're not prepared. It's not because they can't do it or because the recipe mm -hmm. usually is like crazy. They just don't have the right tools. They're trying to like, you know, on the fly, figure out a fix. Yeah. Being prepared. I get it, kitchen. John, I get it. And then so it was like, kind of like a, it was a play on words. Yeah. So we're gonna make um, a cake. 
for starters. And this cake is super cute because you've done these little bats. I smell spices. I smell right. the allspice, the cinnamon. This is like a the pumpkin, pumpkin pie cake, basically. <gasps> so this recipe is super easy. Okay. We're gonna do a dry mixture, yeah. sift it all together, a wet mixture, whisk it all together, and just use a hand whisk to okay. bring it all together. Yeah. You could use a standing mixer, you could use an electric mixer, but less dishes. I right? like that. I'm with you on the less dishes. And the fact that you're even baking when you have two twins over here in the other yeah. room, I mean, I give you credit just for well, that. Thank you. Okay, here we go. It's okay. bat cake. Bat cake. Yeah. So we're starting off with two cups of all-purpose flour. You can use cake flour, but all-purpose is totally okay. fine. But I gotta tell everybody, John was a math teacher in middle school. <laughs> so I feel like there's, you know, when it comes to measurements, because baking is a perfect science, really. Yeah. And I think that taps I into that. I've been having recipes, love of recipes yours. and using fractions yeah. in real life. You know, See, kids, kids, know your fractions. You need to use it. Okay, so okay. Uh, after the flour. One teaspoon of baking soda. Mm -hmm. There's two right. teaspoons of baking powder. We have a teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Healthy dose Lots right there. Sticks. Ground. And then we have, can you tell what this is? That looks like allspice. It's nutmeg. It's a nutmeg, okay. But guess what's next door? Allspice. So we have half a teaspoon of allspice, half a teaspoon of ginger, spicy. Oh, this is liquid. Nice pinch of clove. Okay. Some people are really anti-clove. Mm -hmm. Leave it out. Okay. Give it a sift. So we've got our ingredients sifted and whisked. Yeah, good job. So we can set this aside now and then do our wet ingredients. Okay. What we have here is half a cup of coconut oil, then we have a quarter cup of vegetable oil. Okay. A quarter cup of yogurt. Ah. So this is a moist cake. You yeah. Can use sour cream if you want. Gives it a little tang. A little tang, yeah. Nice. And now we have four room temperature eggs. Okay. Always want to make sure the room temperature pop, pop. A nice teaspoon of vanilla. Now for our magical pumpkin. Okay. Canned pumpkin is fine. Last thing is our cup and a half of granulated sugar. Okay. Pop that in there. And now we're going to give this a nice whisk. Back at whisking Back duty, whisking you got duty. it. This gets you the bicep. After I saw the babies, you're getting your workout. You're feeding those babies. They are they adorable. So much. And now, went to dry, dry into wet. It okay. Matter. So we're just gonna pop it in. Do you want me to do this yeah, as you dump? Great. Okay. So just uh, shimmy that in. I can take over and give it a. Yeah, give rest. it a good. Mmm. It tastes good. And eyeball it. Three equal batches. And you can move the batter around back or back and forth. Yeah, it's... in case you mess it up, we can fix it. What are these? I'm look... not, they, it looks like a dog leash. These are cake strips, and what they do is they cool the edge of the pan during baking so the cake bakes evenly. So you don't get the crispy. You're not gonna get a crispy hard edge. So we're gonna pop these into the oven okay. at 350 for about 30, 35 minutes. There we go. Oh, that's what Yay. every baker wants. I know, it makes me so happy when I get a perfect release. That, and you didn't even have Moist to run the knife around edges, the edge? No. Beauties. Yay, okay. Now we're gonna be icing these with a browned butter vanilla yes. frosting. Right, we're ready to ice. We have cakes, dual piping bags. Dual piping bag, cakes are room temperature. Yeah. And I'll do the first layer, you do the second okay. layer. We're just gonna give it a nice thick layer of Look buttercream you. in between. Look at you. This is a professional move right here. So easy though, right? Like that's no. it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try it. Okay, so but now, first of all, I, can I just tell all of you that that icing with the brown butter. I made a big batch, ridiculous. so it's ridiculous. Maybe you spin for okay. me. It's spinning. <laughs> no, it's not working. Look, no, <laughs> been, it looks the same. Don't worry. Perfect. Look, okay, look at mine and look at John's. What right, is this? that? Ah, oh, boy. Spin that up and then. See. Perfect. Can we show you what it looks like when you do all three layers? TV magic. And you do your crumb coat. But it's not, I mean, that's more than a crumb coat. That looks perfect. What we're going to do now mm -hmm. is add on a final shell of an orange ombre. Yes. Italian meringue buttercream. This is where things get Halloween y. Yep. I see what we're doing. So this is the finished, well, before we put the bats on, this looks great. And so now it's time for our finishing touch. Look at all the bats. This is so cool because 
I thought, well, how did you freehand these bats? I didn't. And you made a stencil, it's so a, smart. Yeah. All you have to do is get a printout. You can do any shape you want. I made yeah. a version of this with snowflakes too for mm -hmm. Christmas. So then you're gonna put the stencil yeah. underneath some waxed paper yeah. or parchment paper and then just trace it with candy melt. Okay. You can use chocolate if you want, but yeah. candy melt is like a foolproof. Here's some candy melts yeah. just to show you. So candy melts, you get them at a baking good store. Amazon. Yeah, or Amazon. They come in all the colors and they just are easier so to easy use. So easy to microwave right? them. Don't have to worry about burning them. And, and these are black. They're black candy melts, perfect for Halloween. Look at all the bats. This is so cool. Look at that, that looks so great. And just wherever. John, this is too cute to cut into. Ta-da! So, what do you think? Best bat <laughs> cake I've ever seen. I love it, John. It's beautiful, and then you can think of all the different fun variations for the holidays. And there's brown butter icing underneath. Mm. Come on. Too cute to eat. That bat cake was the coolest thing ever. Thanks, John. That's it for us. Hope you guys have a great night and happy Halloween. Did you guys love graham crackers? I don't want graham crackers. I want graham crackers. I don't want graham crackers. I don't see graham crackers. Three. You ready? I don't want to. Okay. I just eat it. What does it look like? It looks look like concrete. I know. Add some chocolate. Let's make a mess. What? Oh, Your moms will be glad I said make a mess here instead of a help. Okay. Oh wait, is Levi licking the spoon, you guys? Okay. Ooh, spider pizza. I'm not. Thank it's you for helping. Not a I fooled you. I need to go pee, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a potty break? Me. Do you want a hug? <laughs> okay, hug. <laughs> Happy Halloween!